So this is my Craftsman snowblower. The easy steer. Nine horse. 28 inch cut. It's been the front metal on these. Hey, the front metal on these. It's cheap thin metal. The cable mechanism. To steer the chute always breaks. It's just a poor design. The motor runs great. So these are the bolts that they had to hold the handlebars on. Two on each side. No lock washers. So this is what I'm putting on with lock washers. I wish these snow blowers had better metal on the front. It's always bending. I don't know how I can fix that. Maybe get one of those <coughs> support bars with the top to here or something. I don't know. There's supposed to be a cutter on this one too. So, and this cable chute is junk. I have to physically move it by hand. <coughs> you can see right here. I already put one in, a new one. I'm gonna take the old one out. That's the model number, if you guys can see it. I took that side out already, and I put a new one in. I mean, electric start, a couple of pumps, pull start, it starts. It goes good. It's been a dependable machine, but I put an LED light in. This is junk. I wish I had the old crank style, which I've got other snowblowers that has it, but I keep one at the barn and I got another one here that I've been working on. So if there's any places where I can get a new one of these, I might consider just replacing it. I've repaired the cable several times already and it's very frustrating. And support something to support this so it doesn't bend they're always bending so yeah just wanted to do a quick video of it and what I did to repair these I put a nice heavy machined bolt in and I have two on each side I was going to go with this style because that's pretty much what they had except it was shorter but that's junk so I wanted this one the two went in nice already so I'll put these other two in with lock washers and it should be all right so yeah that's it if you guys have any machines like this tell me about them this particular one the easy steer 28 inch cut Alright, thanks for watching guys.